Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today is going to be a bit of a different video um, because I kind of wanted just to talk about my experiences um, as like a classic student on third year ancient history, undergraduate student at Newcastle University. Um, and I kind of just wanted to talk about like my experiences as like a working class and like first generation uh, student studying classics. <laughs> so yeah, I'm just from like a little town in Lincolnshire. Um, you know, I was raised by like a single mum uh, and both me and my actual twin sister were the first people in like our family to kind of go to uni um, and were also like working class as well. Um, so obviously there's a big correlation there <laughs> between obviously if you're working class and like if your family have gone to uni. Um, so I wanted to do this video for quite a while now to be fair, just to kind of talk to you guys about how these past like two, two odd years, two and a half years have kind of been for me. Um, studying classics at degree level, but also, you know, with my background, just being like working class. Um, so what kind of sparked me to create this video as well was about two weeks ago, I was at a party, um, just like a house party. <laughs> and it's everyone from like Newcastle University. There was also some lads there from where I live back home, which was crazy. Like we were like, oh, as if like we've all, you know, we didn't, we didn't, I didn't know them, I didn't know each other. Um, but I was just actually talking to them for a bit because um, they were literally from like the town next to me, which is madness because I bear, I rarely meet anyone from kind of Lincolnshire in uh, Newcastle. So uh, I was talking to them for a bit and then towards the end of the night, they kind of got into like an argument with one of the other boys um, a little bit. Um, that's not important. But what is important is that as, you know, we all kind of left together, um, as we were leaving, um, the boy uh, said, you know, to these group of lads, you know, same background that I'm, that I'm from, like, same place. He was like to them, oh, well, you've not got the money to be here. Um, and it's been on my mind since they said it about two weeks ago. A week ago, two weeks ago, a week and a half, something like that. And it's just been on my mind ever since. And I can't really seem to shake it. So I thought I would come on here and kind of just make a video and document my experiences because the main difficulties that I found was when I first went into my first year of uni. Um, and I definitely found the gap between the knowledge and the education of classics. I found that so difficult. Um, and second year, I thought it was, you know, I was getting a lot better. Like I was researching into a lot of books myself and I was reading, I was making myself, you know, um, really involved in the classics like community on social media through my Instagram and I was just reading a lot of books and stuff like that um, and anyway so I thought obviously that it was, it was getting a lot better um, at least for my personal experiences I was feeling a lot better in my own knowledge of the ancient world um, and then yeah two weeks ago this happened and it just made me reevaluate things again and I just just thinking to myself you know as much as I can educate myself on classics and get myself to the level of knowledge that they were already privileged and lucky enough to have when I entered, when, you know, when we entered first year, whereas compared to me, I had absolutely no background in ancient history. So I went to state school, little comprehensive school, and they just did not offer ancient history or classics or, you know, Latin, Greek. It's just not offered because, um, only very few state schools offer it because they could afford to have them teachers come in, specialist teachers that just do classics, ancient history, you know, that sort of thing. Um, but the reality is state schools just can't afford to bring in these extra teachers when it's not part of like the, you know, national kind of curriculum. Um, in state schools, they just aim for you to get your GCSEs. They're like, oh yeah, you've got GCSEs, that's all that's important. We want you to get your GCSEs, and then you'll, you know, you'll go on, you know, do whatever. So it's just not offered when you're at state school, but obviously private schools. Um, I know that quite a few people that have went to private school in my course especially, they've studied Greek and they've studied Latin since they were like children. And that's where the difference is. And that's where I definitely felt very out of my depth. So I entered first year with no knowledge of the ancient worlds, but I knew that I wanted to study it, obviously. I knew that I was passionate about it. Um, and that I wanted to kind of go into it in the future. And I just remember sitting there in my first semester and I just felt so out of my depth. Like, I can't even describe how 
shitty I felt because I had no confidence and I was sat there in lecture theatres where I was surrounded by let's face it a very high proportion of private school kids so I know that Newcastle University lets in 25% of private school roughly um, but classics is a lot more like in the classics fields it's always going to be more at the moment because of the cycle of education obviously they get to study it they know that they then want to study it further at um, university level but for people like me at state school it's very difficult to choose it as a degree because when you've not had bad you know you've had barely any kind of education on it you learn very basically about the romans in like year six that's pretty much it um so obviously for people from state schools especially with classics it's a lot less people that choose to go on a study at degree level just because of the uncertainty surrounding it if you've not had the experience and the time and the ability and the privilege to actually learn the stuff in education then i do completely get it and i do think it's completely fair enough that you don't want to then take that leap you know and spend all that money on a degree that you're just not certain of so i completely get it from a working class perspective why there aren't as many working class people there and it honestly is just the cycle of privilege um and just the privilege of private education as well that's completely affected that affected it for centuries and it will continue to affect it as well um but i think nowadays there are a lot of charities that are really really trying to make an impact especially on state schools and to kind of just spread classics and like, the accessibility of classics to younger kind of years and just like normal working class people. And that's something that I definitely want to go into myself once I've finished my degree, once I've finished my master's. I'm currently working with a lecturer called Dr. Holton. She's absolutely incredible. I'm not sure how much I can really say on the video, um, but she basically runs classics outreach programs, um, basically making classics more accessible to working class people. Um, Cause she's also from like a working class background, which is amazing to see like how far she's come. And I think it's absolutely incredible. Oh, my doorbell's gone. <laughs> so yeah, I think classics accessibility is definitely starting to get a lot better, a lot better than it was anyway in like, the past couple centuries. Um, this is the best that it's been in a very, very long time. Um, I personally don't think it's going to get much better until um, education is equal for all. But let's face it, under like the Tory government we're currently in and just like the wealth divide and the kind of ignorance of the upper middle classes, I don't think, you know, there's going to be any education equality anytime soon, unfortunately. Um, but yeah, so anyway, um, so I came into first year and I just yeah I just remember feeling out of my depth so my first semester was a really bad semester for me to be fair and it's not something that I've spoken about really on any of my social media um but I had a really bad first semester um just because I did feel out of my depth with the course um you know I was attending all my lectures all my seminars but when I was just sat there next to these privately educated people and they were they were so knowledgeable I remember looking over at them and I literally just looked at them and I thought like how do you know this stuff like how do you know this stuff and it is just because they've had the ability to study it since they were children they've studied it for years um and one thing that i did have to remind myself as well is like they their parents paid thousands and thousands of pounds for their education to get them to where they're at now and i'm at the exact same place that they're at but without having to pay you know so yeah, I really just wanted to make this video as well, um, just to highlight how bad the wealth divide is in classics, because it is very, very bad. Um, I personally want to actually have a look at the statistics for how many private school kids versus state school kids are actually on my course, because I'm certain it, over half are private. Obviously, this is like my own statistic. <laughs> this isn't like me actually like having like a proper like <laughs> like search. I could like you know it's not actual proper data, but it's my own. Um, what am I gonna say? It's my own statistic that I'm ninety nine percent sure of. You know. <laughs> But yeah, the upsetting thing, honestly, is that it is just a cycle. Things are starting to look up now, though. And especially in the classics realm, we've got really, really amazing uh, women like Mary Beard, like Bethany Hughes. But then that issue is still there in classics that, you know, although potentially like the gender side of it is getting a lot better, there are a lot more women 
uh, classicists, like female classicists. When you actually think about the wealth divide and you think about how many classicists, you know, you've read and, um, you know, whose works are published, when you think about the amount that are actually working class, it's, I honestly, I probably, I could, I could barely name any that I know that are like working class classicists and that upsets me a lot. Um, I kind of want to end this video talking about how you as like, you know, if you're also like in a very similar situation to me, you're like, you're working class, um, you know, you want to go into classics, how you can kind of make your situation better for yourself. Because obviously it's one of them things where it really is out of your hands. Like for me, I think that's, I felt very powerless and that was like an issue with me, which I really didn't like was, um, I hated the they had that immediate privilege just you know because of their because of their money their wealth and then um i literally just came in and i just did not know a thing um but i think i took a bit of responsibility on that of myself as well i could have read books i could have you know done a bit more for myself um so i kind of want to end this video talking about resources and ways that you can kind of um even though obviously it does it's very bleak at times like it can feel really daunting really overwhelming um so one thing that i would say is very helpful is so i created my little social media account ancient civilizations and honestly just communicating with different people that study classics i found really helped um taking books out of your university library trying to read around like the your subject um ancient history you know just trying to read around it was really really helpful for me i really I really needed that um so i watched documentaries i read around it i did like the extra reading in my lectures um signing up for charities like your local museum um your local archaeology group for example um little stuff like this like your local heritage for example because i did actually my first work experience was with heritage lincolnshire and um it was incredible work experience to me. I'm very, very grateful that they gave me that experience. Um, because on my CV, I had literally nothing to do with ancient history just because I hadn't had the opportunity to do anything. I hadn't, you know, I've not got connections within the field because my family, you know, was loaded and they know people. No, that doesn't happen when you're working class. That's, that's, that's unheard of. Um, so I had to go out myself and make all of these connections for myself. Um, so it is a very difficult process, um, especially when for me, um last year especially um only actually up until a month ago um i had to work a pretty much full-time job to help fund my studies um alongside uni so i had a very hectic year last year um i've quit it now because i've managed to save up enough to get me through this year um but because i've got my dissertation and i'm in my third year i just thought to myself i really don't want to be working because I, I really don't want to mess up my chance to get like a first. I really want to do well this year. Um, but then again, I think that literally shows at university how there still is this divide, you know? Because my experiences was that I, I had to go out and work. Like I, I didn't have a choice. It wasn't for me, it wasn't, I want extra money because my parents aren't giving me enough money. I had to go out and work to earn for myself my money. I was financially independent completely you know I can't rely on my parents for any money for university they can't afford to give me you know money to actually help me out that's not how it works <laughs> you know from with my background it's just it's just not viable um so yeah I had to go out and I had to earn my money myself um and it was really tough I can't lie to you it was really really tough last year especially especially during exam seasons working 10 hours at my job and then having to come back and having to do essays and stuff it's it was awful it was horrible um but then again that's just my experience i had to do that um yeah <laughs> so yeah but i do want you guys to know it does definitely get better and i think the classics community is starting to get a lot much more accessible now especially with the work of you know certain scholars certain um charities stuff like that and that's where i definitely want to place myself in the future i would really love to go into classics outreach and accessibility and just making you know ancient greece ancient rome and all the classic all the classical worlds like just making them really accessible and fun 
for people that are also just working class. So I hope you guys have, well, I was gonna say I hope you guys have enjoyed this video, but it's been a bit of a sombre video. It's been a bit of a, um, yeah, <laughs> it's, it's been a bit of a down video, unfortunately, but um, I felt like it had to be said. All of these things had to be said, you know? Um, obviously, I don't mean any offense to anyone that is private school, got no offense whatsoever to you guys. Um, I. I mean, honestly, I'm just talking about my experiences, my own emotions, how I feel um, and how I have felt for these past three years of university study. Um, because the divide very much is real. People might try and tell you that it isn't. It's real and it's, it's especially real and evident and tangible in classics, you know. I'm sure that it's very evident in other subjects as well, but in classics, that's where I definitely feel it the most. Um, and yeah it's tough to overcome and i'm i don't think i ever will overcome it in a sense i think even when i'm in future job prospects do my masters do my doctorate there's always going to be issues there related to the fact that i am working class um you know i can't afford to go and do further study um you know people in future jobs might not you know want to hire me because of my background i'm fully aware of that and it's a very sad fact that people might want to rather hire from private school um, and that's just a fact that I'm going to have to live with, unfortunately. Um, but it's something that I really want to work towards making a lot better. And I want to give you guys as well, if you're similar to me, I just want to give you guys the confidence to completely, you know, accept yourselves and know that you guys are doing absolutely amazing and you're doing so good. And honestly, all of your hard work will pay off. Like you're going to have to work 10 times harder than these you know, other privileged, you know, students, but your work will pay off. And the fact that you're even there and, you know, you put the graft in, you put the hard work in is incredible. So you should all be really proud of yourselves for just making it to like, you know, where you're at today. Um, so yeah, anyway, I, I'm gonna head off now. I'm gonna go to the library. Yeah, please feel free as well to message me on my Instagram or in the comments. I'll link everything down below. Um, Especially yeah, if you want a list of like maybe some charities that you can look for or any help sourcing for yourself, maybe some like classics work experience, please message me and I will help you as much as I can to find that experience for yourself. And even like if it's writing your personal statement um, for university, honestly, please message me and I can try and help as much as possible for you guys because I would love to, I would love to help and just give you guys confidence to, you know, come into the classics uh, world as working class people and try and, be, you know, be proud of it. Like, I'm proud of my background. Like, I've got nothing to be ashamed of. I'm proud of um, my origins. And I just hope that I can make a bit of an impact in classics and make it a lot more accessible for people. So yeah, thank you for watching this video and I will see you guys soon.